What can you do with American structural steel? Just about anything. The 2023 Ideas 2 Award winners showcase the incredible things that can be done with structural steel. AISC's annual Innovative Design and Engineering and Architecture with Structural Steel, or Ideas 2 Awards, are the industry's most prestigious design honor. They recognize projects that embody the exciting possibilities of building structural steel. What makes this year unusual is that half of the awards went to adaptive reuse projects where steel gives existing structures that would otherwise be demolished a second life. These structures have been part of their local communities for decades or even a century, and we're thrilled to see steel preserve the character of those communities by helping to preserve its structures. Let's begin with projects costing less than $15 million. The national award in this category goes to MacLac Building D in San Francisco. Airy steel trusses and a new mid-height structural mezzanine add state-of-the-art seismic resistance to an unreinforced brick factory from 1906, preparing it for another century of service. Yeah, the focus of this project was preserving a 100-year-old historic building and emphasizing the unique brick features. So steel was critical to a minimal structural upgrade option, something that didn't hide that or block it out. For example, the trusses they used, they used tension cables, which are, can almost be invisible when you're looking up, you look right through them and see the historic structure. So steel is a critical element for showing off the historic existing elements of this building. The Merit Award in this category also builds a future from the past, quite literally. In 1952, Ludwig Mies van der Rohe designed a house for the Pi Lambda Phi fraternity on the main campus of Indiana University. But funding cuts relegated the plans to the archives at New York's Museum of Modern Art for decades. 70 years later, students can enjoy that space in real life, not as a fraternity house, but as the Eskenazi School of Art, Architecture, and Design. It was really amazing to see that the team was able to honor the original design that Mies had. You can't separate the idea of steel and the idea of that building. Steel is the only thing that could make that building work. And when it's executed at that level, with that sensibility for detail and for the original intent of the architect, it really becomes a magical experience to see a building come together like that. The next category honors projects that cost between $15 million and $75 million. The Orange County Museum of Art in Costa Mesa, California, takes the national prize. Its flowing, irregular structure houses intimate small galleries, a reconfigurable main exhibition space, and a rooftop terrace for large-scale sculptural works. Something that really stood out to the jury was the use of steel throughout the building is both obvious and in some ways obfuscated, which told the jury that the architect and the structural engineers really had an understanding of the unique uh, qualities and material capabilities of structural steel and found ways to use it uh, to their design advantage, not just as a structural solution, but really more as a way of expressing and hiding the structure to play with the visitor's ability to understand the building. Strike up the band for the Merit Award in this category which goes to the American Family Insurance Amphitheater in Milwaukee. Music lovers have raised the roof at Summerfest's permanent venue since 1987. With modern stage acts requiring more vertical space, the project team had to raise the roof too, to the tune of 26 feet. So I think the innovation here is to be able to analyze the existing structure from the 80s, to be able to come up with a cost-efficient system of lifting the trusses and developing the methodology to cut them loose, keep them stable, and to be able to reattach them 26 feet higher than what was originally designed, I think is truly innovative. In the $75 million to $200 million category, the national award goes to a project that reached for the sky, the newly expanded Federal Reserve Building in Seattle. The original building was constructed in 1949 and retired in 2014 due to outdated security features and minor damage sustained during a 2001 earthquake. This historic landmark now stands tall with seven brand new floors, a new seismic system, and new steel framing that accommodates the fact that the building has moved during its 70 year lifetime. The ability of the new structure to be connected over the existing building and the seismic and the lateral bracing that was integrated throughout the existing building 
is another showcase of where steel is, is truly unique in its ability to be connected and, and modified into uh, an adaptive reuse of a building that otherwise could not be brought up to current codes. In Dallas, modularization brought a new 80,000 square foot concourse in for a speedy landing at a challenging site. A project to demolish and replace the core and shell of the high sea gates at Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport flies off with the Merit Award. Using steel in this, in this modular installation is a great way to showcase the efficiency of using steel in a tightly constrained site in an efficient speed to market application and the adaptability of this material to create these modular sections that create open long span areas but can be quickly and efficiently assembled as in an airport setting. When it comes to projects with budgets greater than $200 million, SoFi Stadium in Inglewood, California scores a touchdown. It takes true innovation to make a below-grade structure surrounded by a 100-foot-tall, mechanically stabilized earth wall feel light and airy, but the SoFi project team did just that. That wall gives the stadium room to safely move during a seismic event at the nearby Newport Inglewood Fault. It's really a special project, and its siding is really thoughtful. The use of the structural steel is, it's almost over, overwhelming because it in many ways feels as grand and as spectacular as any of the great churches that you may have been in. I hate to sound like I'm saying that it's a church because it's a sporting facility, but in many ways it has a magical quality to it. There's a lightness to it that really elevates the spirit and it's a dramatic experience. Another athletic facility, Seattle's Climate Pledge Arena, won a Merit Award in this category. The new home of the Seattle Kraken scores a hat trick. The near total demolition of the existing structure and construction of a largely below grade arena while keeping the landmarked facade and iconic roof intact, completed to meet the NHL schedule with a commitment to being the first net zero certified arena in the world. An interesting thing about this project is that in the submittal, the owner stated that they were looking for this to be the first net zero carbon project that is an arena in the world. And that's astounding, first of all, because of that statement. And secondly, it kind of shows the value that steel plays in the sustainability world. There's a, a lot of value, a lot of uh, things that we can brag about with steel. And this is just a case where that kind of shines. The judges gave two merit awards in this category for 2023. The second is on the opposite coast, where New York once again has a grand rail entrance. The Moynihan Train Hall expands Penn Station into the old James A. Farley Post Office, built in 1912, fortunately with a steel frame. The project team modified 4,000 tons of existing steel and added an additional 6,000 tons to transform the 20th century postal building into a 21st century transportation hub and an icon for decades to come. Taking the existing truss and showcasing it is, is, is a wonderful thing. As a structural engineer, we always want to see steel and we usually, we usually don't. Our, our work usually gets covered up. So uncovering it and um, showing its sculptural quality but also being able to use it for this new purpose um, is, is just a wonderful thing. In St. Louis, the zoo's new Michael and Quirsus Reini Primate Canopy Trails won a merit award in the Sculpture, Art Installation, and Non-Building Structure category. The project team wasn't monkeying around when it came to seamlessly interweaving steel paths and climbing structures with live trees and other natural elements to give visitors a treetop experience. But the real star of the show is uncoated weathering steel, which can gracefully withstand the seasonal changes of the Midwest. The way these paths are nestled through these trees, it just, it just seems almost natural. And the, the use of this uh, uncoated weathering steel, it just blends right into the background. The way these walkways uh, snake through the, uh, the site, the ups and downs, the almost roller coaster ride type curves, I don't think it could have been done uh, in any other material. 
we'd like to thank the 2023 Ideas 2 jury for their time, dedication, and enthusiasm. Have you worked on something incredible recently? We want to hear about it. The 2024 Ideas 2 competition will start accepting entries next month. The deadline is September 30th, 2023. Visit AISC.org slash Ideas2 for more information.